For number four, we're given the equation and we have to find the foci. From this equation, you can immediately find A and B. A is just the bigger one and B is the smaller one. Of course, those are the square of the values. To find the foci, we have to use the value of C, which is the square root of A squared minus B squared. And here we know A squared is 16, B squared is 9, that gives us the square root of 7. Now, our center, as we can tell from the equation, is just the origin, 0, 0. So I have to add or subtract this C, get my plus or minus C for the foci. But do I add it along the X's or the Y's? Well, if you recall correctly, the foci lie on the major axis. The major axis, in this case, is the y-axis. So, I do the plus or minus c for the y-coordinate. This makes the solution 0 and plus or minus the square root of 7. And this could also be written separately as 0 minus the square root of 7 and 0 positive square root of 7. For number 5, we're given an enormous equation and we have to find the coordinates of the center of the ellipse. To do this, we should try to rewrite this equation in the form that we're used to. So it looks like we may, we may need to do some completing the square. So let's rewrite this with colors for the x's and y's. So I'll write x's with blue, 9x squared minus 72x. And then for my y's, I've got 4y squared plus 16y. And I've also got plus 124 equals 0. Now we can't complete the square when we have a coefficient in front of the squared term. So let's factor out a 9 for the x's. And that'll leave us with x squared minus 8x. And we can also factor out a 4 for the y's. And that'll leave us with y squared plus 4y. Then again, I add 124 to get 0. Completing the square tells me I want to put a 16 there and a 4 here. But remember that these are being multiplied by numbers, like 9 and 4. So if I want to add something, I have to subtract something out accordingly. So let's say for the x's, I'll add 16, but now I also have to subtract 9 times 16 over here. That way, when I add 9 sixteens, I also subtract 9 sixteens, and it's as if I didn't do anything, really. For the y's, similarly, I can add 4, but now I have to subtract 4 times 4. This added stuff comes out to be minus 160. Now let's put things together a lot. So here, I factored my completed squares, and I put together the constants and threw them on the other side. But in order to get a 1 on the right, I have to divide everything by 36. Now before I write in what the denominators are, please recall that let's say the number 9 is really just 1 over a ninth. That would make this 36 ninths and this 36 fourths. But these can be reduced further. So now we've found the standard form of our equation of an ellipse. It's now apparent that the coordinates of the center are 4 and negative 2, because you go minus 4 and minus a negative 2. 
So that is the solution.